September 15, Tuesday, Memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke Jesus' a father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord Destined for the fall and rise of many, Mary treasures Simeon's prophecy regarding Jesus. She is a willing participant in the plan of God from Jesus' conception to his birth, growth, public ministry, and death. Even at the birth of the church, Mary accompanies the apostles in the Senachel, and she is always available and obedient to the stirrings of the Holy Spirit. She treasures all things and ponders them in her heart. At the Annunciation, Mary's yes is a complete surrender to God's plan. With Joseph, Mary protects Jesus from the murderous plan of Herod as they flee to Egypt. Mary searches for Jesus when he is lost in the temple, only to know that Jesus is doing the Father's business. Mary understands the pain of suffering as Jesus carries the cross to Calvary. At the foot of the cross, Mary is entrusted to the beloved disciple who represents all believers, and vice versa. Thus, Mary becomes the mother of all believers. The tender compassion of Mary is reflected in the image of La Pieta, holding the lifeless body of Jesus. Finally, Mary witnesses that her son Jesus is laid in the tomb, but with the assurance that he will be raised on the third day as the Son of God.